let's talk about the events of the morning of the 14th. Um, Vermeulen, Colonel Vermeulen, has found that Oscar Pistorius was on his stumps when he hit through the bathroom door. And Oscar Pistorius said in his affidavit during the bail hearing that he was on his prosthetics. Yes. Um, how much of the evidence given in the bail hearing can be brought through to this trial? All of it um, can be brought through. W well, let me just go one step back. Uh, the evidence, it depends from what perspective. From the state's perspective, they may want to rely on what Oscar said during the bail application. And there he was warned that he doesn't have to say anything on the actual event. He decided to discuss it in quite some detail. So everything that he said there is evidence that can be used in the, in the trial presently on the go. And if he should say things there that he might later want to uh, retract, it could impact on his credibility. Or if he contradicts himself, that could also, uh, you know, what he's saying in court contradicts what he said at the bail hearing. That could have a major influence on, on how the judge views his version. Is it credible or isn't it? Is it going to be rejected or isn't it? That's very interesting. So the information given in the bail hearing still stand now that the trial is underway? Yes, that is used uh, in, the, in the trial because at a bail hearing you have the right to say nothing about the actual event. All you need to say is, I'm not guilty. You don't have to say anything more. The fact that you say nothing more can't be used against you. And they can't, the, the court doing the bail hearing can't draw an adverse inference and say, well, look, I'm not giving you bail because you didn't tell us exactly what happened. The bail hearing is really all about, is the person going to come back and stand his trial? Is he going to interfere with witnesses? The fact whether he's guilty or not plays a role at the bail hearing, but it doesn't play a significant role uh, to such an extent that if somebody says I don't want to say anything about the about the, the alleged incident that a court can say well then I'm not giving you bail so that bail evidence and in his case and, and I've said this on quite a number of occasions it could be something that comes back and bites him if he'd said nothing then they could have presented for the first time Oscar's version to court during the trial and that couldn't be held against him either if he says now the first time this is what happened. They can't come along and say, well, you should have mentioned it at the bail hearing and therefore we find that you're not being truthful. You should have said it right up front. They can't hold that against him because even being interviewed by the police, he doesn't have to say anything. That's his constitutional right.